What up, YouTube? Got another quick one for you today. Uh, this is just a series of uh, maintenance things I'm doing, uh, getting this truck ready for San Hollow. Um, what we're doing today is we're removing the uh, coil packs and spark plugs from this truck. They've been on here for a while, so it's time to change them out. Um, pretty easy process. Take out this 10 millimeter bolt, remove the uh, plug for the sensor or the coil pack, and then pull the coil pack out. Um, and once it's out, you have access to the spark plug. And the spark plug, I believe it's a 3 8 but we'll verify that here in a bit. Um, and the good thing about these trucks is that the uh, coil packs and spark plugs are pretty easy to access on both sides. So this should be a pretty easy process. So I'll show you how to do one, and it's the same for all of them. All right, so now that I'm a pro at taking out the first three, I'll show you how to do this last one. Um, basically, you pinch this clip right here, and you try to pull this guy up but if it's giving you trouble what you could do is you could put a flat head under here like this and then as you're pinching it you can uh, shimmy it up with the screwdriver by going back and forth like this to uh, pull it off I'll see if I can uh, get that on film real quick Once you got that off, then you move over to your 10 mil. It shouldn't be on here very tight. Lefty loosey, you guys. Okay. Got the bolt out. Here's just pull the coil back. All right, and now to take the spark plug out, I got this um, 5 8 uh, socket. I'm not sure it's going to focus on there, but um, this is a 5 8 spark plug socket. It comes in most uh, mechanic uh, tool sets. Uh, but what you want to do is you take a long extension, and then get it down in there. And make sure that you have it fully seated on the spark plug there and they're not on there very tight should only be on there about 13 or 15 foot pounds um, and once you get the ratchet on there should just be able to yeah see this one's not even on there very tight okay once you get to a point where you think you got it then just Keep this level and just keep spinning this so you can pull it out by hand. Looks like I had a little more threads left on this guy. It's the benefit of having a spark plug uh, socket it actually will pull it out it's got a snug fit on the spark plug so that's the spark plug out and then we just got to go in and replace one so to take our new spark plug we're going to take this guy in the socket make sure it's seated in there properly i put a tiny bit of anti-seize on the threads uh, just so obviously it doesn't seize up later make sure you Get that guy all the way in there, and you make sure that you got um, it straight and that it's actually threading um, into that spark plug hole. Last thing you want to do is cross thread it, get it in there, and then um, once you kind of feel it tightening up by hand then uh, you can get the torque wrench out and the torque wrench is going to help you get these torque down to 13 foot pounds based on the Toyota manual. So let me get my conversion. 
inverter on here. And then my torque wrench. torque down. And you take your uh, new coil pack, get some uh, dielectric grease. This is a uh, Permatex. Um, this has a little bit in it. I'm not sure if you can see that, um, but it's not enough for my taste. So we're just going to give it a good little squirt inside just enough to coat it like that and we're just gonna seat this guy down all the way make sure it's seated properly on the spark plug like that and then we're gonna take our 10 millimeter bolt Snug it up. Take a ratchet. Snug down. Just get it about hand tight. Take our sensor. go that's all one side done and uh, it's the same process on the other side so if you like that video got a bunch of other maintenance videos I'm doing on my truck getting it ready for sand hollow so check that out it's dr underscore omiz on YouTube dr underscore omiz on Instagram and check out uh, the Instagram for the dirtbag garage thanks for watching